Hello viewers, good morning and we are at the stall of Adani Solar. Adani Solar has a huge range of uh, products to offer for the solar industry and they have at this particular edition of Inter Solar, the Smarter E Exhibition 2022, they have launched new huge ingot that is going to contribute to the Atmanirbhar Bharat. And according to the company spokespersons, this particular product is going to complete the ecosystem of Adani Solar in the years to come. So uh, thank you so much sir, for talking to us and giving us this time. Thank you. Uh, last time when you talked, you spoke about the 10 gigawatts of capacity. Where do you stand today? So we have reached. Uh, we have already got 4 gigawatts operational uh, of cell and module. We are also getting 2 gigawatts of uh, uh, wafer ingot facility, uh, which should be ready next year. But we've got our first uh, ingot displayed at this exhibition. Uh, this is the first mono uh, crystalline. Uh, ingot of about 2.3 uh, meter length that we have pulled out of our pilot project, pilot uh, puller, uh, ingot puller. And uh, I think this is the first one that we've achieved in India. So it's a, it's a, it's a big deal, I would say, that we are, uh, India is now moving onto the path of creating the fully integrated uh, ecosystem, fully in, full integration of from right from polysilicon to uh, module making. This uh, dream will come true very soon, maybe a year or two again, and we will see everything falling in place. From 4 gigawatts of cell and module, we intend to grow to 10 gigawatts uh, by 25, and we are uh, on track for that. Uh, great. As you have highlighted the new launch, that is, I think, that's going to be the source of our smarter this year. Uh, so, how uh, this particular uh, no product is going to change the solar manufacturing ecosystem in India and how it's going to contribute to Atmanirbhar Bharat. Right, so uh, you know if you just uh, give me a minute I'll explain to you how a solar module is made. We start with polysilicon as the first raw material or the basic raw material that is converted into an ingot of, uh, of silica and this ingot is then sliced to make wafers. These wafers are then treated to make cells and the cells are then assembled to make modules. Right, so we've we've seen in India a lot of capacity come up for modules, some capacity come up for cells, but we don't have the uh, the the backward integration in place yet. This is the first step in going backward. Uh, Adani has set up a two giga is setting up a two gigawatt facility for manufacturing ingots and wafers, and uh, this is the first ingot that we are displaying here, made in India, which will allow us to start making wafers in India, which will allow us to get some more level of integration very soon and then as we progress we will grow this to maybe 10 gigawatts of ingot wafer and post that we will also have the next step of integration which will be polysilicon of 10 gigawatts so that will give india complete or adani the complete control on the supply chain and make us independent and atman completely atman nirbhar on the entire supply chain of the uh, module industry of the solar module industry 10 gigawatt capacity fully integrated should be up and running by uh, june 25 Including the polysilicon 10 gigawatts. Of course, the uh, cell module and wafer will be more like 24 end. Uh, everything should be in place. But polysilicon, slightly longer gestation period. We should be ready with the 10 gigawatts of polysilicon manufacturing by June of 2025. For a 2 gigawatt facility that we are setting up, there are 150 pullers. Uh, this is uh, there is a machine which it is called puller, which pulls out the ingot from the crucible. So, uh, there are 150 pullers in that 2 gigawatt facility. We have just installed and commissioned one of the pullers to do a pilot and this is the output of that first puller. Now all the 150 pullers will now slowly get, uh, you know, progressively get installed and that will help us reach a 2 gigawatt capacity of uh, wafer and, uh, uh, you know, 
ingot manufacturing. Right. So as India targets 500 gigawatts and you have a target of uh, 10 gigawatts manufacturing to achieve, uh, what is the percentage of uh, your uh, uh, manufactured products being exported to uh, other countries? So we are uh, looking at the export markets uh, aggressively uh, primarily because there is a lot of uh, dissatisfaction with uh, one of the largest manufacturers in the world. A uh, lot of countries want an alternative and that's what uh, India is giving the, the you know, the, uh, let's say, developed countries an alternative to uh, China. And uh, we are, uh, you know, we, our, our, our uh, vision is to achieve a 10 gigawatt capacity. Maybe 30-40% of that we will also be exporting. But primarily our interest would be to help develop the country and meet the requirements of the company, uh, of the country. Right, sir. So, what are your future plans apart from the 10 gigawatts of target? If you can just talk about the geographical uh, footprint and uh, expansion. So, all the expansion of 10 gigawatts we are doing in one location, which is Mundra, uh, which is adjacent to our port, Mundra port. And uh, that gives us some strategic advantages because then we are very well connected with the domestic and the international markets. And uh, that is how we will develop this uh, geographical uh, presence and ensure that the, uh, you know, we have full control on the supply chain in a very localized uh, area. So that's the aim and that's how we are progressing. How do you like to increase your footprint in the market uh, apart from the manufacturing uh, footprint? So as you may be aware, we are already uh, a very large, the country's largest, uh, maybe even the world's largest uh, solar and wind hybrid uh, developer. And uh, we will continue to develop uh, utility scale projects uh, under, under our sister concern, under our group company Adani Green Energy. Of course, our manufacturing arm will help uh, generate enough of the capacities that Adani Green Energy or our group companies need. And uh, we will serve the domestic market as well. Anything very specific to the uh, investment uh, in plan? Our chairman has uh, some time back announced we will be doing, uh, you know, 70,000 crores of investment in the renewable energy sector. And a significant chunk of that is for the manufacturing sector. Uh, you will appreciate that uh, polysilicon manufacturing, ingot wafer, all these projects are heavy on investment. But uh, they are essential from the country's uh, requirement standpoint because that is the true path for Atma Nirbhar. Right. Adhan is also focusing more on uh, green hydrogen. What's your take on that? We are, uh, you know, committed to in, to be part of all the options that are there on uh, renewable energy, and uh, we will be uh, looking at green hydrogen also. Uh, we are formulating our strategy and uh, approaching the green hydrogen space uh, very aggressively and uh, we believe that is a very important constituent of the renewable energy sector and we will be part of that. Green hydrogen, the green part in the green hydrogen is uh, essentially saying generate using uh, renewable energy and uh, it is a well known fact that uh, solar continues to be the most preferred uh, uh, you know, uh, technology for renewable energy today, generation, power generation. And green hydrogen, we believe, uh, will use a lot of uh, solar uh, power to generate the hydrogen. And uh, our modules, therefore, will be the uh, starting point for green hydrogen to generate the power that is needed to produce green hydrogen. So, our contribution in that sector also will be significant. Thank you so much, sir. It was Thank great you. talking to you. At My pleasure. Day. My pleasure. Thank you so Thank much. You. For more updates, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon.